Yeah, the mayor, the police chief, the school superintendent, all standing out here in front of LAU, uh, LAPD headquarters just about an hour ago talking about this tragedy involving Melanie Ramos, a 15-year-old student. Let's go to some video here uh, from this morning, actually. Uh, it was early this morning that police moved into the area around Eleanor and El Centro Avenues near Hollywood Forever Cemetery. They were looking for suspects they believed were responsible for selling fentanyl tablets to Melanie Ramos and a 15-year-old friend. Ramos died. The friend was hospitalized. Two arrests were made. Two teenage boys, one 15, one 16. Let's go to the next video. This all started at Bernstein High School in Hollywood yesterday. Chief Michael Moore saying the girls got those pills on campus from the 15-year-old suspect who goes to a charter school also on that campus. The 15-year-old boy is now facing manslaughter charges for allegedly providing the fentanyl lace tablets. The chief says the girls thought they were getting Percocet. Also, there were two boys that were affected by overdose symptoms at a park nearby. That was the one allegedly involving the 16-year-old. And they're looking for one of those victims now. He was treated with Narcan in order to try to bring him about. They were successful at that. He got away. They didn't get the information they needed. They hope to find that boy so they can talk to him. As for Melanie Ramos's death, here's what we were told just a short time ago. Both these victims, after they received the pill, went to the, a woman's bathroom where they crushed it and we believe they snorted the powder as an effort to get the influence of the drug. Victim two later woke and found victim one unresponsive. She walked outside where she found her father who was looking for her. That we collectively as a city, the community, the government, the school district, if you prey on our children, it will not end well for you. And we're not just interested in the final distributors of the pills that peddled this death. We want to go up that chain. One child lost is one child too many. Since I arrived here, I made a commitment of writing condolences letters to employees who would pass away and children, students in our system. And my right hand is tired of putting black ink on white paper. There were others who spoke here this afternoon just as emotional. The investigation, Alex Amarla, continues. Back to you.